What's going on guys? We are back in the garage. I know it's been a it's been a change from a little while. The last few episodes have been out racing or working at my stepdad's house or you know doing other stuff. It's kind of nice to be outside the garage. That's all about to change. Um, it's winter. It snowed today. We didn't get it really an acu accumulation, but it's like 18 degrees out and it snowed today. So for us in the Northeast, that's build season. Um, we're going to tear down the car. I'm going crazy, but I'm not going crazy, if that can make any sense. We are going to change a bunch of stuff. There's some stuff that just from street driving it around I've wanted to change. Uh, racing aspect. I mean, I really didn't get too hard on anything. My best pass was 974. Best mile an hour is 146.8 or something like that. So nothing in the car was really straining. I haven't maxed anything out. I haven't found the limit of anything. But there's some stuff that I've noticed between the little bit of I have five passes and the and the lot of street driving I've done that I want to change, um, and one of those things is the cylinder heads. The I have three seventeens on the car, and for non LS people, they're they're off a six liter. I have a five three block, and everybody's claimed they're good for boost. I bought them with the motor. The problem is it drops my compression into like the eight nine nine zero range, way too goddamn low. This and with an eighty millimeter turbo, this car is a dog out of boost. So what we're going to do is we're going to put a set of 862s on that I got. That's off of 5.3. That's going to put my compression almost 11 to 1. Uh, I got them all cleaned up. They just got to go to the machine shop, got a clean deck on them, stick all the valves, order a new set of springs and retainers from BTR, rip those heads off for sale, gone. Uh, we're pulling the whole drivetrain out of the car, motor tranny. I got a front pump seal or the bolts are leaking. Nothing crazy, but it's a leak and I want to address it now that it's winter. Uh, what else was going on? Yeah, so we're going to change the heads. We're going to change uh, the fitting on the water pump. I got to weld the dash 16. I got to change a cooler hose. We're going to put a new bigger batter radiator with much bigger fans. Uh, I really only had one problem with that thing all year. And I don't know if it was bled wrong or it was the radiator size, but I have the room and I have the radiator, so now it's getting a big one. I, and so that just where that's going to go. We are fully converting over to Holly EFI. We are taking the MS3 out, the Gold Box out, the Race Pack out, the AEM Wideband out, all that nonsense, and we are going to do a full Holly EFI Dominator with a harness. Uh, probably, I'm gonna, depending on money wise, it's either going to be a Pro Screen, a 6.8 Pro Screen, Pro Dash, and go from there. So that's the big thing of this winter is converting it to Holly EFI. People go fast on a gold box. They do. It's just not what I want. My buddies run Hollies. It's just it, it's just going to be easier to run a Holly on top of the amount of data I can now log with a Dominator. Uh, on top of so many other things to get the drivability better. On top of, I you know, trans brake bump box, I can't do anything but that with the gold box. But on the Dominator, I can have my bump box turn into a scramble button over a certain mile an hour. I can't do that with the gold box. I mean, there's just a ton of little things like that. That and the countless inputs and outputs. That's going to be the major thing this winter. I am also, what am I doing? Uh, new intercooler. We're going to get rid of this big behemoth. And we're going to downsize a little bit, but more quality of a core. So I can get this 60-pound intercooler without water off the front end. New intercooler piping. I want 4 inch, it looks better. I absolutely, absolutely hated that 3 inch intercooler piping. We're changing a bunch of stuff. I'm moving the fuel regulator, I'm making hard lines for that. I'm probably going to change a fuel line or two. I'm redoing the whole trunk, we're tearing that all apart because i got to move the fuel cell to the other side. Uh, I'm 100 pounds heavier on the driver's side with me in it. So I'm going to move the fuel cell to the passenger side and put the battery in the ice box on the other side. Try to distribute that. Once the motor and tranny and everything are back in the car and the Holly EFI is done, we're going to tear the rear end out of the car and we are going to do the Team Z upper and lower torque box replacements. Um, I didn't get enough time to do it last winter. Yeah, we flat ran out of time, so we're going to get it done this winter. 
when I get the whole trunk torn apart and get that, that's when we'll situate that. I want to get, I, I'm not trying to tear the whole car apart at once. We're going to do it in sections. Uh, new downpipe. I like my downpipe. The only thing I do hate is cruising on the highway. 2,800, 3,000 RPMs. That thing just drones and it's obnoxious. So we're going to loop it under the frame rail, run across the engine bay, out the passenger front bumper. I haven't decided on a mini bullhorn or, a, you know, a teardrop. And we're going to V-band a muffler in. I'm, my goal, my only goal right now is to do Drag Week 2020 in September. So I don't want to drive a thousand miles. That thing will freaking make me bananas. What else are we going to do? Uh, rewire relay panel, bigger winner fan boxes. That's pretty much it. Small things here or there. I'm going to get a new bumper. I want to get an LX bumper. That's a GT. The LX bumper will fit better. It'll match up better. i got to fix my valance. I cracked the crap out of that thing in two spots. i got to repair that and fix it. I've resupported it now with aluminum sheeting on the back, riveted it in, so it won't flex as much. And we're probably going to weld up some holes in the engine bay, get that cleaner, and paint those three things. If I have enough money, this all comes down to money. If it comes down to money, I'll get a new hood which I really want, but I got some Holly valve covers. I need to get some LS3 coils and get those painted. I'm simply doing those just to clean up the engine bay. There is nothing wrong with my truck coils in these ICT brackets, but it's just unsightly. A bunch of cosmetic stuff, really. I'm not changing the turbo kit, except the, and I'm not changing the hot side. I'm just changing the downpipe. Uh, I'm not touching the bottom end unless I find an issue. I'm going to pop the pan off and see if there's, you know, check the bearings, but I doubt it. I don't hear nothing. Oil pressure is mint. Not changing suspension, not changing brakes, not changing brake lines, not changing anything in the rear end. Um, the you know, whole interior is coming out because I'm going to rewire a lot of stuff, but that's that's pretty much it. I've already started to tear the car down. Now, you can see I got you know a charge pipe off. I got some uh, Water pipes off, the whole nose is stripped off, which is nice. Even with the bolt, fully bolt the nose, it took me 10 minutes. Um, we're going to strip this thing down and get ready to pull the motor come this weekend. Uh, I ordered a lift plate from Doug at Motion Raceworks to get this out. I'm just going to leave the tranny attached to it and um, do that. So we're going to get the intercooler off. we got to get the turbo off. we got to get the exhaust, the hot side off. We gotta get the heater hoses off. We gotta drain everything. They're still full of water. I drained the tank. The lines, I'm sure, are still full. Um, intake manifold gotta come off. Harness gotta come out. Catch. I mean, everything's gotta come out of the engine bay, pretty much. But uh, gotta drain the oil. Gotta drain the transmission fluid. So I'm not gonna really go into detail tearing it down. We're just gonna fast forward through this as fast as we can and get this all torn out. It's out. Probably could have used the uh, back hole here, but this Motion Raceworks lift plate is the cat's ass, man. This thing is some serious business and it's bolted down. And, you know, you can see it, it's out. Um, like I said, I could probably use the back hole because the nice thing about having the TMZ front end is you can pull it straight out. You don't need to angle it or anything crazy like this. But um, it's out. I disconnected everything. You can see my RJS blanket just hanging down here. Damn, the tranny got dirty. Whew. But the only thing that I do have to do, which I forgot, is the converter bolts. Last time I looked over the car, I noticed uh, had a little bit of a coolant leak. This um, gasket is pretty much 
trashed. It's all sorts of messed up. It's uh, pretty crappy on the block too. We're gonna have to um, do some cleaning. Do some cleaning of that before we put it back together. much more to show you guys for this video I know it's kind of all over the place all over the map we're moving along we're moving fast um sorry I'm eating high too I'll end this one we'll come back with something I'm gonna be putting the heads together I don't know I I'm playing it by ear what I'm doing because I'm all over the place right now with the front of the car I'm not really going to touch the interior. I only had to do that so I get the race pack cables out because I'm selling that. Selling that, so trading that. But concentrating on the engine bay. That's all I'm doing right now. Engine bay, motor, engine bay, motor. That just That's all I'm concentrating on. So like usual, guys, get in the garage. It's build season. Start working on your hot rod. Spring will be here before you know it. And you don't want to be that guy on jack stands while everybody's out driving around in nice beautiful weather. Have a good night guys.